Mm. You guys should try lemon and water is good for your body. Mm. So what's up guys, uh, this is your boy Gary Adam Slink, how you not day now? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Today is Sunday, I hope you guys are currently in church, or you guys just came back from the church. Please, eh, as long as you guys are going to church, eh, please don't, do not be used. Do not be used. Here is a trendy video, eh? it shows church members as early hour of the day, they are already sleeping on the street. Because they are waiting for the church gates to be open. I don't know what to think about it, but uh, I'm having some really crazy misreaction to it. But me, I no go talk. Me cannot talk well. First, you go tell me, say, Adam Slink, you don't talk anyhow. You understand? That is why I'm just going to keep quiet. Just forget about the matter. But then again, tell me exactly how you feel about it. How your mother go come up for house early in the morning around that kind of five? Go sleep for front of church. Say one well, tell church. May the gate close. Think about it now. Think about it. But let's forget about that. Let's think. Let's talk about our first lady, the Nigeria first lady, uh, the pres the president wife, Tunubu. Well, according to what she said, Nigeria shouldn't be lazy. Nigeria don't be lazy. Nigeria, stand up and walk. Stand up, go to farm. Those of us complaining, tomatoes don't high, this one don't high, vegetables don't high, all those things don't high. In your own little way, you can plant all those things behind your house, in your backyard. You can do that. You can plant vegetables, tomatoes, yam, even plantation of yam, cocoa seed you can plant. Eh? So do it. That's according to... Uh, the first lady. Of course, she's doing a great job. Oh. She's doing a great job because that is one of those uh, encouragement we need from the first lady. She's doing a great job oh. asking us to go to farm, asking us to do this and do that. But there are so many people eh, who have left farming, not because they, want, they do not want to go to farm, because of the insecurity. In fact, we have so many guys here who want to start farming, but because of lack of land, lands are valuable. They don't really know where to start and how to even go about getting the land. That's not a big problem. But then again, she told us, as soon as herself and uh, the president, uh, we, uh, look, we uh, relocated to the big house, the house villa, the presidential villa, she quickly, immediately inaugurated a small piece of garden behind the official house. A small piece of garden where she plants tomatoes, bigiri, leaves, vegetables, okra, and so many other things. So many other things. And she wasn't joking. Though. I thought she was joking. She was actually interviewed and she showed us. And she wants us to believe that from those vegetables and those things she plant, whenever they grow, she used to pick from there to cook for the president, which is honestly really, really good. But then again, <laughs> well, I don't want to be sarcastic about the whole thing. Let's listen to our beloved first lady. So you're a farmer now? I'm, I'm trying to be because we need food in Nigeria. I'm trying to be and then everybody should try to grow something. So I didn't know what I can add to the state house. And I thought, you know, a private vegetable garden would be nice and that has very um, good health uh, benefits. When you look at the first one we have, we have okra. Okra is very, very good, good for the digestive tract and also helps cholesterol, I guess so. But um, the other one is a wedu. A wedu is very medicinal. We know that. I remember children that have measles, when they take a wedu, it helps them. It helps them a lot. And uh, maybe the doctors will find me. We have water leaf. Water leaf is also beneficial, especially for ulcer patients. So it's very good. And um, here we have um, green vegetable, just the green A4 vegetables. So, and then um, I'm not a fan, but plant, don't be angry. 
but you know i'm a fan because i'll eat you uh, i'll eat you as well are you able to see the garden itself is well painted with green white green represented in nigeria uh, as a whole understand and just to be sure she was the one that actually planted it all those things herself there's a video there are uh, picture proof and she can quickly identify every plant but not as if she was the, I think she was the one that supervised. So as long as you are the one supervising, we can easily say you are the one that planted yourself as well. But the thing they say, eh? well, let us continue the video first. You know, and like some people will say, I don't have land, but they call it smart farming. You can grow anything in a bucket, you know, just grow something. And um, that's what, do you have a garden yourself? Grow something. You, you'll enjoy doing that. It's not that. It's free. It's God's gift to man. You know, we all should embrace that. It's God's gift to man. Look at all the greeneries around us. It's God, God's gift to us. Uh, the thing is, you have to have a place to unwind. You have to also, um, like, replenish yourself rejuvenate yourself in your mind spirit and body and your soul too which you know is where the mind is and then you make sure that you you know you 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 get in touch with nature as much as you can and it's refresh ref, it will refresh your soul and that's what we are having here i have my me time every day i do that i have when after every day's the thing be said if you listen so much to all those politicians, will lie, they will convince you. They will whine you and convince you. Honestly, the first lady is saying the entire truth. What she's saying here, nothing bad at all. Although many Nigerians, they do not believe nothing again. Despite she's saying the truth, but so many Nigerians, because of so many things, I beg, go forget you she want to make me believe that that's why they did the job. I bet those politicians can know how to twist Nigeria, all those kind of things. I know, I know for sure. But that doesn't take away the fact that what she's saying is true. Hmm? That doesn't take away the fact that what she's saying is true. And again, no land, ma ma mama. Actually, no land for Nigeria. There are lands everywhere, but everybody have claimed the lands of Nigeria. You cannot go to anywhere now. You'll be so surprised on top of rock. On top of rock, somebody has already laid claim to that rock already. That is how crazy it is. But then again, even me myself, I've, I've even started a, a poultry farm, a little bit of poultry farm inside my cup and just be uh, just under the bottle, the bottle uh, uh, tank, and also. I want to start a little bit of farming, uh, this uh, technical farming behind my house here, which I'm going to buy drum and split it to do and put some uh, soil into it, then grant, uh, grow some vegetables and tomatoes. Because honestly, I'm so tired of the expenses. The alcohol tomatoes is currently in the market. I'm so tired of it, man. So, so tired. I can't. But meanwhile, she is saying the entire truth. Understand, but then again, we know all those politicians, we know how they they whine us, but that doesn't mean she's not saying the truth. Eh? That doesn't mean because I'm not going to condemn whatever she's saying because she's saying the truth, honestly. Well, I have little time before I go to bed, you know, study the word of God, pray, you know, meditate, and then look at how they go, you know, have like a uh, what would I say? Um, like I take stock every every day. Every day it's a routine that I've not take stock. What did I do right? What didn't I do well? And then the next day is a good day if God if I wake up. So if I wake up I know God has given me another day. So it's to push. I hope uh, that uh, actually refresh you people's soul because we need fresh souls. Fresh souls with uh with uh good conscience as well. Well, let me know exactly how you feel, guys. Are you going to start farming? A lot of Nigerians have already started farming because of this hardship. Let's be honest. So many Nigerians have started that little farm. Those people that own a house. All the people that will live in rental uh, apartment, that have a uh, little land by, behind them. Hmm? 
they have already started farming. Little, no matter how little it is, start. Understand? So that you will not have to be buying tomatoes. I have vowed that I will not go buy tomatoes again. In the next three, two months, I will not buy tomatoes again, honestly. Honestly, because I already started my... I will do a video vlog about it so that you guys will see. I already started my whole chicken and turkey farm. Yes, so chicken and turkey farm. And I've already started... Uh, I'm looking forward to start this uh, vegetable, which I'm going to plant really soon. In the next three months, I don't talk up. I no go buy vegetables. I no go buy okra. If okra is part of ve vegetables too. I, I no buy tomatoes and pepper again. All those other tomatoes and pepper that I will buy, maybe all those green tomato, or green pepper, which I will also plant as well. Hmm? I will not buy them again. I'm tired of the cost. It's too expensive in the market. Let them, it's not as if the soil, man. I don't understand why tomatoes are cost for market. Honestly, I don't really understand it. I don't understand it. Well, then again, let's move forward. Let's talk about this headline. According to the federal government, you remember the Minister of Humanitarian during the time of uh, Buari? Well, guess what? She has been asked, she has been asked to give details on how she spent over close to 800 billion naira. <laughs> she has been asked to give details. According to the LSA the court order former Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Sadia Uma Farouk, to account for 789 billion pay payment to millions of poor Nigerians. If they share that 700 or something billion naira, for example, let us do the calculation now. Let us do this cal calculation. 729 billion. 729 billion. Oh, this calculator cannot even calculate it. They will. Let me search for cal I must calculate this thing. I must calculate this thing, guys. I must calculate it. 729. 729 billion naira. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Divided by 200 million. Let me say 200 million. Because we are close to 200 million now, uh, Nigerians. 200 million. Let me check. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That means each Nigeria will get 3,649 uh, 3, uh, naira. Each Nigeria will get three thousand. If to share it to two hundred million Nigerians, each Nigeria will get two hundred and sixty three thousand six hundred naira. But then again, let us just assume that they give it to like twenty million Nigerians. Let us assume they gave it to twenty million Nigerians. Eh? Several twenty nine million. Several twenty nine million. Several twenty nine billion naira. One two three. One two three. One two. Divided by 20 million Nigerians. Then each Nigeria, each of those 20 million people will get 36,450,000 uh, naira. Okay. If, because there was an interview the other time, someone said, a former prosecutor of Nigeria said, if they reveal the kind of money that goes out of Nigeria on a daily basis to corrupt officials. Eh? Nigerians will not be suffering. That's why the director say the money made they take build this country. The money made they take build Abuja alone is rich to build UK times three times. The money made they take build Abuja alone is rich to build Dubai times three times. But then again, you know this country. When you are bezel big, eh? nobody will question you. You can go scot free. But if you thief five naira, twenty naira, you will be disciplined. 